Hello my friends, it's Soga the Geek here, and for this review, we're going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse JLA Electric Blue Superman. There he is, folks. So I pre-ordered this off the McFarlane Toys website, finally arrived today along with the rest of the figures in this wave, but these have already started hitting stores. I've seen a lot of people finding them at Target's over the last few weeks so yeah be on the lookout there is a red variant of this guy as well so yeah look good luck it's a platinum chase but it feels like a lot of people have been finding it so yeah there it is so finally have this figure and gosh i am just a big fan of this superman you know listen i'm old uh the 90s late to early 2000s this is my era of era of comics like, for me, Superman Red, Superman Blue is still from that Dan Jurgens Death of Superman era, where after the death of Superman, they had all these crazy, wild, awesome stories, you know, like Superman, um, obviously, The Death and Return, Superman, Superman Red, Superman Blue. There were just so many great storylines during that time period. And I remember when this costume was announced and the media frenzy that it caused obviously gimmicky you know and there he i don't think anyone thought he was going to stay like this forever but there was definitely a lot of uh debate and yeah i was definitely taken aback when i saw this back in the day because it's such a departure it's basically a totally new character right because now he's an energy-based being and when he turns into clark kent he has no powers so yeah very different take on superman but man i enjoyed the stories I enjoyed that time period, and now through the lens of time, I definitely appreciate it even more, and especially the suit and the design of this character. I just dig it. Uh, I love the S logo that this Superman has. The S logo isn't perfect, though, I'll be honest with you. It's not... Um, it, this was a weird logo to get in the comics. I, I think it just looks different from artist to artist this is fine this is a good looking logo but um, i'll show a comparison of the dc direct one later where i think the, the logo is a little bit more accurate but this logo looks great the figure looks great just in the packaging uh, we do have a build a plastic man with this wave which is awesome we get a new plastic man figure and uh yeah there you go there's the little blue constructs there so yeah i was gonna do a group review but i thought you know each one of these figures i really like a lot so i'm like let's give each one the attention they deserve so without further ado let's get this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look all right my friends so here is electric blue superman outside of the packaging there's a trading card he comes with that obviously does not look anything like the figure. So, you know, this happens a lot. And the reason being is they can only use certain pieces of artwork that are available to them from DC. Because I think DC has to negotiate with their artists, you know, and pay them to share their artwork. So I think they are limited to what artwork they can share. That's why oftentimes you get cards like this. I'm pretty sure that's why this happens, but whatever, it's a trading card. This is technically kind of accurate, but this is from the cover of JLA number one. And this is a Superman look there. Obviously it's not what you see there, but at least it's from the JLA comic book. That's some beautiful Howard Porter artwork there. I would love to get a, another mullet version of Superman. I like the one we got already but i would like a, a thinner version a slimmer mullet superman um as well so anyways there's the trading card just makes me want to go and read jla right now honestly then we have the build a plastic man piece oh look at that look at that there he is he's he's gonna come together nicely so there's the piece there Got a little something there all right then it comes with these electric blue the, the little lightning effects which i don't really care about and then there is the figure itself so i am digging this figure this definitely i feel like represents that era of superman really nicely this is kind of like how he looked in his first appearance i remember that comic book cover it was all black with him just kind of standing there and yeah i think this represents him nicely it's a slim figure as it should be because I, again i remember him being pretty slim during those issues or the way he was drawn love the head sculpt look at that that looks like electric blue superman to me the white of the eyes the blue lips the hair the white oh it just comes together so nicely 
Here's the rest of the figure. I'm pretty sure this is a reused body buck, but I, you know, to me, this isn't, this looks great. The paint job is really nice. It's very accurate to the suit. And I think this body does, fits it really nicely because you have a lot of range of motion with the articulation there, as you can see. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just digging this figure. This is a very accurate representation of Superman Blue. There's the wrist. Okay, so there you can definitely tell this is a reused body bar buck because you can see the gauntlet there on the on the on his arm. I forget which figure this is from, but you know, it's fine. I barely noticed it, but I think I still love this figure. I think it's a great Superman Blue. All right, let's go ahead and do a comparison with another version of Superman Blue from DC Direct. Oops. All right, so on the left, we have the DC Direct Superman Blue based on the artwork of Ed McGinnis. Then on the right, we have the new Superman Blue. So this has been my go-to Superman Blue for over a decade. And I got to say, the McFarlane one is going to replace it. I will say this one, I do look like the logo just a little bit better. I think they captured it a little bit better here, but man, the new one is just so fantastic. I love the blue that they use on the new one. I like that baby, baby blue. I was about to say blue, blue, blue. Baby, baby blue they use there. And I think it's just, they're both great figures, but man, I love this new version so much. I just feel like it stepped out of the page of a comic book. This one's great too. This is beautiful Ed McGinnis glory right there. You know, so they... You, you can see the, the differences in the suits a little bit, but yeah, definitely digging the new one. So yeah, this had a great run on the shelf, but this new McFarlane one is going to replace it there. But let's see how he looks next to a few other McFarlane figures. All right, so there he is next to the Return of Superman, Superman, Mullet Superman. And I love this figure. It's such a beefcake, ridiculous, huge figure, and I dig it. Then we have the Crisis on Infinite Earth Superman, and then we have the new one in the middle there. So there you go. Scales pretty well with these guys. And again, just love having all these different versions of Superman. I think I have over... 100 Superman figures and he is my favorite character so I love having every different version of Superman I can get my little grubby paws on so yeah definitely loving this new version um all right so there we go there he is next to a few Supermans and let me let's go ahead and round it off with some final thoughts here all right I think I'm gonna have to take back what I said about the electrical plastic pieces I think it actually is pretty cool uh once you attach it I didn't realize it kind of attaches like this if I'm attaching it correctly, I think it does. I think that's pretty cool. Gives it a cool like effect to it. Yeah, so I do I do like the uh, plastic electric attachments. I stand corrected. I was very judgy at the beginning and I just glossed over it, but I came back guys and there he is with the electric attachments. Let me know what you guys think. I am a, a 90s kid. I love this stuff. Or more like a 90s teenager, Sally. So yeah, this is my my jam right here. I think they did a great job of capturing this look. They didn't do anything wild with it and try to make it modern or anything like that. This is just a very pretty much one-to-one -one representation of what I remember from the comics. So I think they did a great job. I'm excited to get into the rest of this JLA w wave. Man, I hope we get a few other JLA waves with like Zarel and steel in that in his um jla suit and aztec oh man give me an aztec aztec figure i love the grant morrison run of the justice league that is my favorite version of the jla man just so formative for me in my superhero reading and yeah what a, what a great time to be a superhero fan in the 90s but anyways there he is there's a look at superman blue let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh, look out for the rest of the wave over the next few days all right thanks so much thank you so much for watching and have a great day